dog related today. I I was just looking around, hunting for dogs in my area. I was looking at Bichons because I love Bichon Frises. These they're cute, smart, little fluffy, no shed dogs. Um, and so I was looking around for Bichons, seeing seeing what they had. And I was looking to adopt, like to try and make sure that it's not like a, a puppy mill situation, but with a, mm. a dog like a Bichon, because it's very specific. Sometimes, you know, you have to be wary of that stuff. And so I found this little little puppy that I sent you the picture of. And I, you know, on the little contact sheet, when you're on those adoption websites, you can be like, put in your email, put in your phone number and a little message. And like, they'll reach out to you about the dog. And so I like put in my phone number and in the message thing, I was like, I'm interested unless this is a puppy mill. And uh, and then I just hit submit. And then like maybe uh, I did this in a pre-shower shit after I was working out. And before I had wiped, I got a call. And so like immediately I get a call from from this lady from this uh, adoption agency. And I guess my note had, had gotten her like uh, noticed. And. Yeah, I was a, a little puppy and I, I called, uh, she called me rather. And I'm like, Hey, uh, give me the details on the dog. And she was like, well, uh, so you know, the, th- some people think uh, that, that some of our locations are a puppy mill, but oh. it's not. That, and like, I was like, all right, don't lead like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't lead a sale like that. And from mm-hmm. by the time I got to the end of the conversation, like it became pretty obvious that like this woman was being genuine where she's like, I'm working on behalf of a company that I don't have like total fucking control because it's like national, but I can vouch for my location and this other one that it's yeah. all above board and this and that. And we get our dogs from this and they go through these rigmaroos and everything. And so by the end of that conversation, I'm like, all right, I'm I'm, I'm kind of convinced of it. And then yeah. I was like, what's the what's the adoption fee? on this dog like how much am i looking at here can i guess right. yes okay so this is a bijan frigé or whatever guess one too, of little fuckers. and it's like the one you wanted so it's per lesson or some shit yeah it's a cutie. <laughs> like your load she's a cutie yeah yeah yes uh i'm gonna say 2500 to 3500 1250 is my number what's the truth kyle's almost exactly it's 2990 hmm. yeah, yeah like almost i was exactly gonna split the difference grand. if you'd forced a number on me yeah, no, you were, I'm you were looking at dogs you're, you're too. Good at this. Damn. I, I'm looking at dogs too, and like the creme de la creme yeah. of, are, are usually, unless you go to something silly with some European, the bloodline is strong, and they've got <laughs> pictures of champions going back three oh, generations yeah. or some shit. If you do that, you get into five and ten thousand dollar dogs. Dude, at, at the end of the conversation, like, I felt really like nice dog. I felt like bad for the lady because like she clearly loves dogs and is like doing everything she can to like place them in good homes and like is having to deal with bad rep reputations of of like mm-hmm. the whole industry and whatnot and so it's like yeah I, I get why you would like reach out and be like we're not like that i know it's a understood what are the odds you have a people. dog before the next show oh um, i would say zero yeah it, it's gonna oh, take okay. a while to try and find a good one unless i just impulsively do it that's entirely possible sounds like you found a good one what a uh maybe i uh, th- i'm not gonna pick the first bichon i come across i'm gonna what website gonna are poke you around a little bit I'm, I just I just searched adopt a Bichon and then oh, I went okay. to a few so different websites. I'm so I've done a I'm good at this I think because uh, I I did so much searching for Toby when I bought him. It turned out puppies.com <laughs> is the best website to find a puppy. What puppies.com has it has this. It, it's not a great search feature. Once you figure out how to use it, it can be a little janky at first, but you can save your searches. You can search between. Dozens of wackadoo crossbreeds like Havapoos and Duskies and and Boogles and 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 whatever the fuck. And Damn, this is a great price. site. This is so much. You better. can you can you need to make an account, but you're gonna need that account to correspond with them. That way, everybody's certified and like on the up and up. So you're not buying puppies from a guy who doesn't exist in a parking lot somewhere. He's gonna beat you up and take your three thousand dollars you brought. <laughs> you know what I mean? So everybody, it's on the it's on the up and up and. I don't know about puppy meals specifically, but the, I don't the people know. I, I bought my dog, dog from was, <laughs> was a family. <laughs> yeah, it's such a good resource. You, you can search by newest puppies, by closest to you. And those these sound like common sense features, but you don't find them on most of the other websites. Or most of the other websites are for a specific breeder who has mm-hmm. one female or three females and one male. <clears throat> and so 
It's like, yeah, we'll have a litter of puppies next year. You, you excited? Fuck you. <laughs> but uh, with this website, you can get shit done. And they'll deliver puppies to you. There's a whole service where they drive puppies to your state and bring them to you if they're, you know, look at Kentucky Look at something. little Willow. What a sweet Havapu. That's such <laughs> a cute dog. I'd... Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, there's so many What's awesome Havapu? dogs. Uh, I don't poodle know what something? Hav stands so for. It's, but so poo it's is poodle. poodle, obviously. Is it? What's the H? Oh, Havanese hybrid. I just happened to see that in the All About Me. She is a Havanese hybrid. So I don't know what that is. Never heard of it. It looks I like a know. dog from that's a movie. Yeah, I thought though. I knew yeah. my dogs. That's a that's a cute little puppy. Oh, Zach has a Havanese. All right, well he he knows. Small world. Yeah. Small. World. I'm mostly looking at, um, because like I said, we put a dog down this week. It's mm. and uh, and so I've been looking at dogs, um, but mostly at miniature Bernie Doodles and miniature Aussie Doodles. Because they're like Toby, but little. And I think I find that appealing. But um, <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna get another dog, just a little version of Toby. Yeah, like a, like, I, it needs to be a little dog, for sure. My, I might get a a, a, a dachshund. I've looked at those and Tomskis. Uh, I don't know, but please, Zach, you have to show Anton. It, this the is the name's adorable. more of a personality thing to me. Now with Toby, mm. his name was Toby when I bought him, and so I just kept it because he looked like a Toby, but. I, I usually try to name them something personality based if I can, or maybe they do something. Look at little Anton here. Oh, hmm. what a sweet little guy. Nah, you don't low, like little that's, dogs like that. Nah, that's, that's, that's a mid ass puppy. I don't want any part of that. Look at it. Oh, little, he's here. so sweet. You're ridiculous. <laughs> he's you I want to like, I want to like flinch at him and scare him. Oh, you're a monster. <laughs> I, <was young. laughs> I, I want him. I want him to be my best friend. And I'm like, that's my guy. He comes over, he hangs out with me. Nah, I give him he's attention gonna have those messy little. He's gonna be have this dirty tear duct. I don't care. Like, like, I'm gonna. I get you get a little wet. Well, with, with poodles, you can't get all of it because it stains over time. But like you get yeah. a little wipe on them, you you go like I'll that. Bleaches the lies. Oh, don't do that. I'm not letting you hang out with Anton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, you leave Anton with me. <laughs> no, we have no, such I'm different tired. tastes in dogs. I, yeah. You're probably not. A, I, I searched for Great Dane, saw a bunch of cool ones. Yeah. I'm not remotely interested in any of the dogs you like. All right, talk, I, are, I, I all right let me dogs. talk about dogs that you'll like. Great Dane mixes. I've been so when I sometimes when I search, I thought I knew what I wanted. So I had the I, I did it. But then I was just like, show me everything. Show me everything you have. And they mix Great Danes with like an Irish wolfhound. And you get this ridiculous Great Dane that's all fuzzy. Or they'll they do um, German Shepherd Great Danes. So they have like a German Shepherd's face, but enormous and goofy. Um, <laughs> I like all, I love when they play God. I don't want some normal dog. Labradors go extinct. Fuck off. Only doodly like doos labs. and, and, yeah, and yeah, I like doodle doodle doos and <laughs> those kind of dogs doodle should, don't. should survive. Yeah. I mean, you made a smart I, move getting a half poodle with Toby. Very smart. I really, I really like it. I've got him shaved down because it's hot as fuck. Uh, and he loves it. I hose him down. He's easy to clean. He doesn't shed. He's hypoallergenic. Um, and, you know, he's smart ish. Mm. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, he's not help, help make dogs smarter. Like they're, mm, they're a smart sense. breed. And so they, they use them for mixing all the time. Like it makes them smarter and they don't shed. So it's like the most common mix. The um, if it was if it was up to me, I think I would get a, a uh, Pomsky, which is half Pomeranian, half Husky. Mm -hmm. And oh, they can combine that. in a lot of weird ways. So sometimes it doesn't look good. But the ideal look to me is basically a little husky. It turns into a little husky with more um, silly fur. More it would be better. Ceremonial for her. Bigger husky. That's a, a husky like St. Bernard. Wolf. Yeah, I guess you just go to wolf, right? Or a wolf hybrid. They have temperament issues, yeah. but I bet a husky St. Bernard is cool. Yeah, St. Bernards I, are known I, for having I, great temperaments, right? I don't know. I, I, I thought can't they were like the gentle giant dog, right? Or is that not maybe. right? Yeah, it sounds right now that you say it. They're known for slobbering too, which is the what thing. Was what, that that was yeah, okay. Bernard, yeah. Bernard, yeah. what was Beethoven in that movie? St. Bernard. Yeah, St. Bernard. Yeah. I've only ever seen one in real life. They have those droopy face thing, and I think they have an eye, like a genetic eye issue, the same way mm. labs do, maybe. I know with our lab, we had to hit had a he had to have an eye surgery to fix some sort of lower eyelid hmm. deformity or malformation that labs have genetically sometimes. 
I don't remember the specifics, but he had to have a, a lot of labs had bad hips, and our labs had bad hips, even though they were like I don't know, it was a backyard breeder. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Whoa, it's a good dog. I, I got a feeling that man is smaller than the average man. Mm. In case that's somebody's relative, the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to insult him or anything, but uh, but yeah, that's a big ass dog either way. It's just like when bodybuilders pose and the other one gets like two feet closer to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here, bro. Don't force any perspective on me. Yeah, again. I, I love any kind of dog. It's just, I don't, I'm hip to this trick. I don't want a hundred pound dog. Like I, I want a dog that can just like snuggle up next to me on the couch or like sleep next to me in bed, not take up a the huge 200 amount of space. pound dogs will do that. Yeah. But they'll take up the yeah, whole yeah, fucking couch. Fucker. They do take up the whole, that's couch. a beautiful the whole dog. Bed. And when they a pass husky. gas, is that like mixed like, with a raccoon? Probably, what is that? Is it a chow and a husky? I think that if you I mixed a raccoon and a dog, you could give it yeah, hands. I wonder if he's got a blue tongue like a fucking husky. I, 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 can, I can almost see a little. Like That'd be cute. <laughs> I don't know why I'm mentioning that. I just think that's huskies have those like blue tongues, which is a weird breed thing, I guess. I never know. I that. like when they mix the breeds because they, they get rid of a lot of the genetic hip dysplasia and um, yeah. um, neurological issues and, and, and just issues with cancer like it so many people i know who have purebred pets end up losing those pets or having to put them down because of cancers mm -hmm. uh and it's like why are these dogs so prone to cancer it's because they've been fucking bred Inbred. down that narrow ass breeding line to keep the blood pure for way too long and they're like the mcpoils of the animal world i'll get some little dog mixed with a poodle something like that so yeah like i like the cavapoos yeah there's they mix po poodles with everything. That cavapoo yeah. that I, I, I that you sent me, and then I sent Zach, and then he mm -hmm. showed us earlier is, uh, <laughs> is, a, is a cool fucking option. Yeah, but I like the dog. most of the dogs that I'm looking at that I think are cool are mini Aussie doodles. Mini Aussie doodles. It's an Australian Shepherd, and then they do like two generations to make it miniature and uh, mix it with a poodle as well. It's gonna and be a wild dog. They got his blue eyes, so that that, that kind of look around all crazy. I like that a lot. And, you know, they're doodly. Australian cute. Shepherds, like, need more movement and exercise than, like, any other dog, don't they? Yeah, but, you know, it's the, you miniaturize it, you doodleize it, and he's good to go now. He <laughs> likes the couch, and he can run in the yard. Uh, Toby likes to run. I mean, we probably play in it. He goes outside and goes wild for two hours a day, just, like, beating ass outside, running around as fast as he can and uh, tugging on toys and stuff. And yeah, those dogs are fucking cute. Love dogs. Yeah, dogs are the best. I, I, I'm almost torn on if I should get two, because if I'm not home, like I don't want them to be lonely. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, I'll I don't tell you what. If you get, oh, it'd be cool if we got siblings <laughs> <laughs> and, and pull them apart from each other. It's different states. Well, they're gonna be pulled apart anyway. Yeah, like, like I mean, you true. get you two, get two, and then I'll get like the third, like. Brother, or whatever is what I'm saying. I'm not saying if you like, find if you find triplets, dogs. let's do it. <laughs> I'll get the they I'll get the two like cavapoos and you get one. I mean, they have like ten. But don't call them brothers and sisters. Call them fraternal twins because it's cooler. Fraternal yeah. twins, yeah. That's why they all look so similar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm excited to get a dog. We'll see when it happens. But and I'm also almost torn. Like so many of my friends have gotten dogs like that are already like one year old like a year and a half. And so they're like good to go. They are trained. They know like they're not going to oh. piss in your house, but also like that puppy phase is so fun and cute and everything. Like, but there is a huge trade off there. Like if I, I, I'd, I'd be like sitting here doing the show and being like, Oh, another piss stain happening right there in my living room. Mm -hmm. Like in real time, can't fix that right now. I guess is that soaking in. So <laughs> no, I'm I, with I'm you. Not, I yeah. like slightly older dogs, you know, a year, year and a half. It, it's a good spot. Yeah, I, I might do. I, I don't know. I feel like I bonded so well with Toby. Like, man, he, like I, you don't want to hear about how cute my goddamn dog is. But my dog's fucking cute. Like, I'll be in bed and he comes in there and jumps in and, and he just flops into me with his full body weight. And he's mm. got to be leaned against me. If I move over and let him go flat on the bed, that's no good. That's not what yeah, he wanted. He's got to be touching. He wants, to be, he wants his body weight into me and he must weigh 50 or 60 pounds. He's not a giant or anything, but. He's laying right across my ankles all night long, and I fucking love it. Fucking love it. You know? <laughs> Great days do that. To... You wouldn't like it, though. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a giant. He pins me dog. down at night, and I can't move. 
How much do they eat? Because Toby eat all right. Obviously, your dogs eat more than my dog, but my dog eats this huge dog bowl of food, and I'm always mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, I can't eat that much. There's no so way. So as adults that aren't growing anymore, four cups a day, it used to be six. I don't know how that compares. I feel like like he doesn't eat six for sure, but he might be eating four cups at a time too. Oh no, two measure- cups at a time. We met we we feed him twice a day. Yeah, I feed him twice a day. But he eats a I mean it's like a pounder. It's so much food. <laughs> when, and, and and I'll be like, I kept giving him more and he's more a puppy, because I right? thought he's a year, almost exactly. He's and growing. Thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. But I keep thinking, I'll give him this much. He'll never eat that. And and then I'll next time I'll give him less and we'll dial in exactly how much he wants. But he always finishes the bowl no matter what. <laughs> So I don't know what, yeah, how much I think will happen is he'll hit two years or something and it'll be like, you know what? He's getting a little fat. This isn't the right amount anymore. Yeah. My other dog got fat. She sneaks. She sneaks. I don't food. hate fat dogs. Fat people? Nah, not cool. Fat dogs, fat fish, bring them on. Fat fish will be okay with. That's a happy fish. You know, that's just more mm-hmm. buoyancy. But I feel bad because yeah. the dog gets gets all tuckered out too fast and she's um it's too it's it gets too hot. She's always she's laying there like, <sighs> yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Degrees. There's a balance to be struck, though. I just don't need my dog to be an athletic champion looking. Maybe it's because my dog is old. I have two old dogs. One of them is a little chubby, Ender, and the other one's super skinny, like an elderly old woman. And it's not, it's not what you want. You'll it might be time to search for some dogs soon yourself. It, feels, it sucks so bad losing that little pupper. I felt mm-hmm. awful all week. All of her, mm-hmm. we had the living room full of people, all like family and friends came to say goodbye to the little dog and everybody's hugging her and kissing her. It was a, it was a rough scene. I, I keep crying every time I find a fucking, like it was time to feed her. It was time. It's like time to feed all the dogs and her food is special. So there's normally this other step for feeding mm-hmm. this. And it's like not doing that tonight. It was, it was a real bummer. It still is. It's, it's still fucking sad. The, uh, the ashes show up tomorrow. So that'll be, we're going to have a whole meltdown tomorrow around noon. <laughs> I I hear you. It's the sort of thing where a little time passes and you forget how emotionally painful it can be. But yeah. it's it's brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's my little <laughs> friend, you know. I spend all day with that with those with his dogs and that one in particular was uh 16 years old and real sick. Uh, with the heart uh, failure. So I'd keep her right next to me on like a tuffet, like a little pile of cushions. It's like, you doing okay? You cool enough? You got enough air? You want to know it was time. She had a seizure. She had a mm. seizure um, and was just laboring with her breathing, just always panting. And um, uh, she would get fluid on her lungs. Um, so she had this cough um, and that was getting worse. Just everything was really coming to a head and it was clear. She just wasn't. Oh, she stopped eating as well. Like 12 hours. You know, before. I know it's hard, but that's the best. Like that's the yeah. best ending. Like it, I've had all the endings. I've had the die too early. All of a sudden in a snap. Didn't expect that. That sucks. Mm-hmm. I've had the um, really slow fade away where you make the decision to put the dog down and you second guess it. it. You could have done it six months ago and it would have been an act of kindness. Or maybe you could have waited six more months because she was still existing. Good and days walking. and bad days. Right. Days That's a really days. hard time to get it right. But the situation yeah. you've had, which I've had too, is the dog's declining. You know it's old. You know it's not doing well. And then undeniably, yeah. it's go time. So you take whatever, okay. your two more days and you do it. That's, That's even best. what I said. I, I I was like, maybe today was a bad day. Maybe today was a bad day. But then the next day wasn't a good day. And it's like, it's time. And, uh, you know, the vet came over to the house and did and did the whole thing. And I uh, took a little paw print. And uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, those ashes show up tomorrow and I'm going to have a fucking meltdown. Mm-hmm. It's going to be it's going to be rough tomorrow around noon when those show up. Cause no, I, I I'll know when the doorbell rings. It's gonna be I'll, I'll I'll be crying when I get to the door. It'll be fucking pitiful. What are you gonna do with the ashes? <laughs> the diamond thing, or um, sprinkle them around your home? 
I'm either going to do the diamond thing in a or rental. I'm your girlfriend's like, I, I loved her too, but yeah, like <laughs> I want it deep in the shag, deep, deep in the shag, <laughs> never leaving. Uh, either something, some. I wouldn't be completely opposed to just keeping the ashes in a ceremony and I fucking urn, but uh, mm. either diamond urn or scattering somewhere pretty. I haven't decided. Uh, and it's not entirely up to me, but I don't know. Something befitting the dog and her and her happy little life that she mm. lived. She uh, always loved getting into the trash cans. So She did. <laughs> she did. She did. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she would have wanted. Yeah. Kyle's, Kyle's singing, come sail away. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Fl- flush the toilet. Come say host. <laughs> she always drank from the toilet. Dump some ashes. It's what she would have wanted. Oh, it's dark. <laughs> yeah, but um, that's one of the reasons. How much good stuff to do with ashes? I, I can understand liking the big dogs, but man, it's a bummer how how they only live for that seven mm-hmm. to ten sort of years thing. Like, if you got a twelve year old Great Dane, he he's a great great yeah. name like, like that's that's we an do. old ass dog yeah um, but those little dogs i don't know exactly how it works but something about metabolisms and smaller creatures they just live longer you know the, this dog was 16 and you know she ran around she this wasn't a crippled dog you know up until very recently she was running around yapping playing with toys and shit um and a lot of them do that i i'm pretty sure my dad currently has this mixed breed breed mutt it's got to be 20, man. I know wow. the world record's 23, but I'm telling you, he had this dog when I graduated <laughs> high school. That was 2004. This is it dog is 19. Yeah. yeah. It looks like yeah. a, um, it's mixed like a basset hound. It looks like mm. a basset hound. If you had to pick a breed that it looks like. It's uh, mixed with, yeah. And that dog's been sitting, up, been living on a farm for 20 years, running behind tractors running under fucking equipment and just fucking might have been a healthy acres, lifestyle I guess. right That's whereas most dogs said. kind of exist on the couch her siblings all her she had another sibling that was couch potato mm-hmm. and died a decade ago and it's like living Maybe that active life, life lived mm-hmm. yeah because we've been in this house for eight years now i think and uh it's I don't know, 14 acres, 15 acres that they go outside a couple times a day. They, they get it. Maybe it's been good for them. I, th- I guarantee it is because the dog that lived the couch potato life died way. I mean, the other dog's still still there. Like we don't cap at 19. It's got to be the same as mm-hmm. people. I have like, I have no documentation, but this dog is close enough to the world record for the oldest dog in the world that it's meant that it's worth mentioning. I'm, I'm, I think there are Wait, a was lot that with 32 fibers or something? Is that the, is the, that the record? Dog Sometimes longer than 20. Oh, I, I think I saw some dog a while back that was 20s, like early 20s. Someone claimed they had a record. cat that was like 30 something. I mean, shit. There's so many of them, dude. You get, you get enough tries. Like, who's to say? Why not? It's going to have been a Japanese Sometimes cat. Sometimes God just forgets about a pit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Oops. laughs> you just keep going. God for, I mean, look at our Congress. Yes, yeah. God, well, God has also. forgotten about Biden and and uh, what well, the my hell bad. is that? Mitch Don't say <laughs> because I think the Lord noticed her recently. <laughs> I yeah. think he's. Oh, did she die? No, she fell. And oh, they're talking about power of attorney and shit like that. Like it's. Uh, so I was thinking, twenty-one years. It's thirty-one years for the oldest fucking dog. Uh, so no not way. even close. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, two thirds. I bet if we saw a picture of him, you'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, that's thirty-one year old dog." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I believe it's, you. Just get it out of here. Terrible. No teeth. No <laughs> eyes. One mm. foot. You've got the record. Can he die now? Please. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is my pup Methuselah. Oh, oh hell no, yeah! He looks great, it, dude. It, I want to pet that big boy and shake his paw. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking. That dog dude. does not it, look old enough. No. No, he doesn't. That's that's. Wow. There's no fucking way. That's the oldest dog ever. Now I can't I read what it that. what it says on the it Guinness Book of World Records certificate. I don't know what the rest of it says though. Yeah, but Good I mean, gosh. like, how He's much smelly really dog? Checking the, over at Guinness? 
Yeah, says the, says the, the dumbest bestest dog. Boy. <laughs> the dumbest <laughs> dog boy. in America. <laughs> it just says bestest boy at the bottom. Uh.